This is a wonderful opportunity for me to share my excitement about a counselor's guide to career assessment instruments. This 580 page book produced by the National Career Development Association and available through ncda.org is a comprehensive and the most current volume we have available to us to help career development practitioners understand and improve their skills and make better decisions about career assessments. Regardless of where you work, this book is clearly a way to help you improve the development of your clients and students and it can help you improve the quality and effectiveness of your programs. During this session, I'd like to cover three things. I'd like to introduce you to the content of the book, walk you through some of the key elements of the book, and hopefully encourage you to consider growing and experiencing finding new ways to better use career assessments. Co-editor Ed Whitfield, Chris Wood, and I are really proud of the book and excited that it provides so many benefits to you in the field. The book includes 13 chapters and four appendices. 71 separate instruments within 55 reviews using a standard format allows you to make comparisons among the different tools. There's 187 brief descriptions of additional Kerr instruments available, and it provides a user's matrix that lists and categorizes all instruments in this edition. 48 annotated testing and Kerr assessment sources are provided, along with 19 periodicals that publish test re research and reviews. 15 Kerr assessment websites and 129 publisher addresses, phone numbers, and websites are all to your avail. We also include four sets of test standards and codes. There are some clear chapter insights that I want to share with you. We hear from major authors in our field about Kerr assessment trends, how to select instruments, using instruments for personal, program, and policy advocacy, and we certainly want to pay attention to computer-assisted assessment, and you'll hear about that in the book. There's also a checklist for assessment and counseling competencies provided, and insights about assessing youth and adults with education and career development challenges. You might be asking, well, why do we review tools? What's really behind all this? Well, one of the challenges is that it's hard to get trustworthy information. Most users are familiar with only a few instruments, and they typically use what they're trained in. And when you ask users to rank what's important and what they use, they typically rank only those they know of through name recognition and often marketing campaigns or those they directly use. We also review tests because we want to look at the publication dates, any nuances and new additions to any of the tools that are available. In writing the book, we had to decide how to select what instruments to review. Major instruments were identified from a variety of well-known sources. New instruments with promise for extensive use were identified and those instruments designed to facilitate employee career development and help adults with career transitions are a growing area of interest to us. And those with proven utility for persons with disability or disadvantages certainly are worthy of attention to a larger audience. We looked at Burroughs Institute's publications, one of the key players in this business, and looked at the annual review of Career Development Quarterly. They frequently mention new products and new ideas related to assessment. There are six instrument categories within the book. We cover tools that relate to aptitude and achievement in comprehensive or combined measures, interest and in value tools we look at, instruments that deal with career development and career maturity, as well as instruments that relate to personality, special population instruments, and additional career assessment instruments that fall into a general category. Let me walk you through an example of some of the key slides useful to you as you look through the book. Uh, the first sample review is of the Ability Explorer produced by Joan Harrington and Tom Harrington. And within this slide, you can see the same kind of information you'll see for every particular tool that we review in full reviews. It includes target population, a statement of the purpose, title of subsets, and so forth. It allows you to get the key information useful to assess and determine if this kind of assessment is useful to you. The next slide, you see more information related to the same issues in terms of how to evaluate the tool, but this time you're going to notice we talk about computer software options as well as additional comments of interest to users when they look at this particular tool. And then we provide published reviews should you want further information. This sample review also includes information on who reviewed the tool and a description of that particular tool. Within this sample review, we'll go to the next slide, and you also see that there's information about how to use the assessment tool within counseling, which I think is a key feature of the book. We then include technical considerations. And as you move forward to the next slide, we talk about validity. And we provide an overall critique that's helpful as you make your final decisions upon how you might use this particular tool. The next slide, in the last piece of this particular sample review, includes references to give you further resources to look upon should you want to find more information about this particular review. We'll then go to the next slide, which is a key part of the book, which includes additional career assessment instruments. Here you'll see that we provide brief descriptions of 189 additional tools. 
We provide references to previous reviews so you can go back and look at reviews made previously. And we give you the name of the test, the publisher, the publication date, and the target population for all 189 particular assessment tools. The next slide is called the Counselor's Guide Users Matrix. And this is very helpful because we put all the tools together into one matrix so that you can find the instrument name, both those that are full reviews as well as those additional reviews. And it'll allow you to see how it might be used in terms of what particular characteristic does it relate to achievement, aptitude, interest, and so forth. And then we identify the particular use and population you might find value in applying it to. And lastly, as I mentioned earlier, I want to encourage you to think about further training in career assessments. The National Career Development Association, along with Roger Gatzero, put together a new workshop. It's a PDI at the National Career Development Association conference this year in St. Louis. Roger has gone about and studied the book, written a review, and found a great way to put it into a workshop to teach all of us more about assessment, and I highly recommend it. Finally, I want to thank you again for this great opportunity to talk about our excitement about the guide. I want to thank the National Career Development Association and South Carolina Educational TV. I also want to point out this has been a very much a collaborative effort in the many publishers, the producers of the tools, the reviewers, the authors, and my colleagues Ed Whitfield and Chris Wood. I want to thank you very much and wish you the very best in using this, we think, wonderful tool.